Hey there, House here. Now, if you're paying attention, I had a little bit of a bounce back last week. I went 10 and 4, bringing my overall record to 126, 80, and 1. And my win percentage is 61%. Now, let's get right into some predictions, shall we? First up tonight, we have the Chargers versus the Chiefs. The Chargers are dealing with a lot of additional players being added to the COVID list. So, with them set for this early game of the week, it's going to be difficult for those players to have a chance to get onto the field. The Chiefs are starting to get back into form like we expect them to after a dominating performance last week against the Raiders. I'm picking the Chiefs here. Next up is the first game of our new set of Saturday games of the season. First, we have the Browns versus the Raiders. The Browns, similar to the Chargers, have a lot of players on their COVID list. Most recently were additions of starting quarterback Baker Mayfield and head coach Kevin Stefanski. Now, they have shown before that they could win without Stefanski in their postseason performance last year, and they can win without Baker, as they did earlier this year with Case Keenum. However, this could still pose a problem for them as they're attempting to navigate their way into a playoff spot. The Raiders last week got down early and looked awful for the remainder of the game. Their only saving grace is the fact that the Browns could be missing a lot of players. I'm picking the Raiders here. Our Saturday night game, we have an entertaining one of the Colts versus the Patriots. A game that could be a real defining matchup for the Colts as they look to assert themselves as a top contender in this AFC conference. They will, however, have a tough matchup against this incredibly talented defense and run-first offense of the Patriots. I'm picking the Patriots here. Next up on Sunday, we have the Steelers versus the Titans. Now, the Steelers looked rough last week for nearly two-thirds of the game. They mounted a late comeback, but ran out of time. The Titans have been finding a small groove in their run game since Derrick Henry was lost to injury. I'm picking the Titans here. Bills versus the Panthers. The Panthers look like a team that is always one bad throw away from benching Cam Newton, which has happened twice so far. The Bills, on the other hand, are an all-around better team. I'm picking the Bills. Eagles versus Washington. Speaking of benchings, Tyler Haneke, the quarterback for the Washington football team, was benched last week in favor of former Panthers quarterback Kyle Allen. I expect Heineke to start again, but he'll be on a much shorter leash. The Eagles should be able to win this one with some ease, whether it's Hurts or Minshew at quarterback. I'm picking the Eagles. Jaguars versus the Texans. Oh boy, I hope no one is subject to having to watch this game. Talk about a suck fest. The Jaguars are bad, B-A-D bad, and they recently fired their head coach, Urban Meyer, after a 2-11 start. In this matchup, I'm picking the Texans because the Jaguars are just that bad, head coach or not. Giants versus the Cowboys. It is possible that Daniel Jones is getting closer to coming back to the field to play. Even if he does come back and play, I don't believe it'll be enough against this divisional foe. I'm picking the Cowboys. Next up here, we have the Lions versus the Cardinals. The Cardinals lost a tough one last week against a shorthanded Rams team. They were also dealt a blow when DeAndre Hopkins sprained his knee and is expected to miss the rest of the regular season. Even with all that, I think they'll bounce back nicely in this matchup. I'm picking the Cardinals. Dolphins versus Jets. Wasn't I just talking about a suck fest? This one won't be much better to watch. I'm picking the Dolphins. Broncos versus the Bengals. A game that I could see being a back-and-forth effort where no team has the true advantage. I'm picking the Bengals as they have some better offensive stars as of now. 49ers versus the Falcons. I know it's usually tough to figure out which Falcons team will show up and what the outcome will be. This isn't one of those games. I'm picking the 49ers and that defense to give Matt Ryan some fits. Rams versus Seahawks. The Seahawks came out last week and whooped on a lesser team in the Texans. They will face a bit more of a challenge on the offensive and defensive end of the ball in this matchup. I'm picking the Rams. Ravens versus the Packers. Both of these teams are in an interesting spot right now. The Ravens are battling to maintain a lead at the top of their division, while the Packers are battling to maintain their top seed in the conference. Also, both teams are dealing with injuries to their star quarterbacks. The Ravens' Lamar Jackson hurt his ankle last week and missed most of that game. He hasn't been ruled out for this game, but it's definitely something to watch for. 
the Packers' Aaron Rodgers has been dealing with a fractured toe, which he re-aggravated on Sunday. He hasn't ruled out surgery just yet, but he also doesn't want to miss any games. I'm picking the Packers and hopefully a healthy enough Rodgers in this matchup. On the Sunday night, we have the Bucks versus the Saints. Taysom Hill helped his team to their first victory in six weeks. They will have a tough test against this Bucks team, which they have had some success against in the past. However, I don't see them winning this matchup that sees the Bucks playing a lot better on offense and playing at home here. I'm picking the Bucks. Next up, we have the Bears versus the Vikings. The last game of this week, we have two teams at different stages so far this season. The Bears are looking at a losing season, but trying to get their rookie quarterback as much experience as they can. The Vikings are battling for a possible playoff opportunity. They also have received a boost with the return of their stud running back, Dalvin Cook. They will go just as far as he can carry them. I see him carrying them past the Bears here. I'm picking the Vikings. Well, there you have it. Those are my picks. Thank you for tuning into the House Report. If there were some selections that I made that you disagree with, please leave your own picks in the comment section. As always, I hope this week's picks go better than last week. And for all my betting friends out there, remember, you win some and you lose some, but the house always wins.